This year's Innovation Award goes to the University of Evansville. This year's canoe is one of the more innovative canoes that I've seen in the uh, 13 years that our students have been working on this project. I'm on our way to Nationals last year at Reno. Uh, we were just kind of talking in the truck and someone had brought up this Mythbusters episode where they dimpled a car to improve the gas mileage. We knew that fluid is both air and water and so we decided to use the same idea for our concrete canoe. I was kind of shaking my head. I was thinking, well, I don't think this is going to work. Talked to some of the other professors and they said, well, I don't know if this is going to work either. We made two canoe prototypes. One had a smooth bottom and the other one had the dimpled bottom. And we were able to place them in a flume, which allowed us to measure the strains and the drag that the canoe felt. We found out that the dimpled canoe experienced a 28% reduction in drag. One of the biggest challenges with installing dimples was how do we make the dimples and how do we place them inside the mold. We had the dimensions from the analysis team that we needed to achieve, so we used a PVC pipe cap and used that as a cookie cutter and then we're able to bake the dimples and super glue them into the mold. At regionals, unfortunately, due to weather, we weren't able to race. The morning we got to the race, there was water all over the road and there were two foot tall waves, so we were never able to actually get the boats out and race. We swamp tested it and that was it. And so our scores were only based on three of the four areas, which is final product, which is our canoe and our display table, our presentation, and then our design paper. The one thing that UE does great in is having our engineers right. So we were able to place first in the paper and first in the final product. We won regionals, which is extremely exciting since that's only the second time Wisconsin's ever been beat. It is extremely impressive for UE students to be at National for the past three years. We have a very small program. A lot of the other schools put in over 3,000 man hours, and that's double what we have. We don't have the help that a lot of other schools have, or the funding even. Um, we're against some big schools. Cal Poly has won the past three years. They have a really big team, and they work a lot of hours to create a really good product. And we have a couple of schools from Canada that are really good as well, and they're fast in the water. The first day is mainly just show and tell, checking out our competition, and seeing how we face up to them. Second day is presentation, which is a big part of the competition because you're basically selling your idea and your product. Third day is the race day. We have slalom, um, there's co-ed races, and individual endurance and sprint races. I think race day is really exciting just because you get to see everyone's canoe and really the spirit of all the teams comes out. We're kind of a smaller school. We don't have the same pool of like paddlers. So paddling is going to be a kind of an issue for us here at the national level. But what we really want to be known for are the innovations that we have and also our academic prowess. Concrete Canoe allows you to see what really goes on in a project from beginning to end with management, uh, cost, estimation, and then the engineering behind it. And so it kind of just gives you that overall view of a project. One of the things that's important for our students is to make sure that they get noticed by working on these different kinds of projects. So not everyone works on Concrete Canoe, not everyone is as successful in Concrete Canoe, and anything that gets your resume up to the top, getting looked at employers, I think that's a good thing for our students.